What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to break down the Tick Tick Direct Plan because with Tick Tick Direct Plan, you could become a funded futures trader without having to pass that annoying evaluation. And I want to break down whether it's a good deal or not. So what is the Direct Plan? The Direct Plan is basically a non-evaluation account. So you pay one-time fee and then you become a funded trader. So you don't have to do any evaluation. You don't have to pay any activation fees, all that stuff. And there's a couple of cons to it. So let's start with the cons. Number one, it's just a 25K account. You can't do the 50, you can't do the 100. It's just a 25K one. Um, the tick drawdown is also your safety net. So you cannot take out the first $1,500 plus 100. So it's technically 1,600. And then the third con is the price. But the price is actually not that bad once I break it down for you. Uh, let's go with the pros. So number one is that you don't have to do the evaluation. And number two is that there is no minimum trading days to get a withdrawal. So there is a minimum amount, so you can't withdraw the first 1600. But like in my case, on my day number one, which was today, I made a little bit over $1,100 here. So um, basically, if I would have made $2,000 today, I would have been able to take out $400 of profit and pay myself for this account. So hopefully tomorrow and maybe Friday, I'll be able to make uh, close to $1,000 between the two days, and then I will pay myself, and then this account will be free from then. So there's no minimum trading days that you have to do to get a 100% payout after the $1,600 uh, safety net. And that is a huge deal in my opinion, because when you compare other plans and other firms, for example, like Apex, let's break that down really quick. So with Apex, I just passed and I got funded as well. And you might think 349 is a lot. So with Apex, I paid 30 bucks for the account because I signed up with the, uh, the discount that they had for 80%, which they have to get a lot of signups to be profitable that way, and a lot of failures as well. And then I had to pay an activation fee. So that activation fee was $92. So, and that's only for one month. If you do a unlimited activation or a lifetime activation, it's like $220 for the account that I did. So right there, I'm, I would have been up like 250 in that account, or you know, I would have paid 250 for that account. And is it is 350 and 250 that big of a deal? Probably not, if you ask me, because especially when you compare the withdrawal process between the two, it's night and day. And also with Apex, you have the trailing drawdown, and with Tick Tick, you only have the end of day drawdown. So that's a huge deal as well. But um, it also the, the fees will depend on what size account you do. I did the 100K static account because I hate trailing drawdowns. So with a static account, you just have a $625 drawdown, and it goes up from there. It doesn't actually trail up. So uh, some of the things with Apex that are kind of like red flags for me or things I don't like is that they have a consistency rule for the actual live account. So once you do the evaluation with no consistency, that means you could pass it in one day, even though you have to trade for a minimum of seven days. If you make all that profit in one day, then you could just open and close a micro contract the next six days and then you still pass. Now, when you go to the live account, you pay that fee to activate it. And then there's a 30%, um, basically a 30% um, consistency rule, which means that at the time of the withdrawal request, the balance in the account cannot consist of more than 30% of the balance from one or being from one single trading day. So one day cannot be more than 30% of the whole account. So you can't have one bigger day and then smaller days. Uh, so you have to be careful with that. You can't trade news. Uh, there's certain time frames that you have to request the payout so you can get paid twice a day, uh, twice a month now, which is not bad. It used to be once. Um, you get to 100% of the first 25K with Tick Tick, it's first three months is 100%. And um, the payment must be requested, you know, on the first to fifth day to get paid on the 15th. So basically, you have to make your profit by the first or the fifth of the month to request it by the 15th. So it does make it a little bit more difficult. There's minimum balance to request a withdrawal um, in, it, in each account. Then there is a minimum and maximum amount that you could actually withdraw from each account. So there's so many different rules that they have. You have to trade minimum of 10 trading days between withdrawals. Um, and having that minimum amount in the account to request a withdrawal is also like a um, red flag to me. I don't like that. but. The only positive is that there's no safety net, so you could actually withdraw um, all the money from the account if you want to close the account. But that is the safety net, and um, it's not a big deal because you can make that you know sixteen hundred dollars in you know two three days, and then after that it's all yours. So you still get paid much quicker than you would do with 
with Apex. Again, Apex is much cheaper. There's a lot of pros to Apex as well. I don't blame anyone using them. You know, they market really well. A lot of YouTubers are promoting them. Um, they get a lot of signups because of the sales. Uh, they probably get a lot more signups than any other firm just because of the sales. And how these firms work, if you're not aware, is basically they take all the money that we pay for the evaluations and then for the uh, activations of live accounts if you do pass. They pull all that money into one account. And then if there's any profitable trader out there, they take the money from that account of all the money that we put in. They take that chunk and give it to the trader that is actually profitable. There's no commissions. There's no profit splits, right? So if the company says there's a 90-10 profit split, that's not really the case. It's just a cut of your payout. So commissions, same thing. Let's say you make $10 on a trade. You really only made $6 on the trade. Or if you make you know, $100, you only made $96 on the trade. So you really uh, don't pay any fees. That's just the money that kind of disappears from your account. So they don't have to pay you that money. But it's not an actual broker. Like, like Ninja Trader, when you sign up with them directly, they make the money off commissions. That's how they actually are profitable. Uh, the, the trades go live to the market. And if you lose money, someone else is gaining your money and vice versa. You take the money from other traders versus here. It works a little bit different. It's like a video game. Um, and then they pay you based on your performance. And when you actually get paid, you become a 1099 contractor. So you're not actually a trader. So you can't uh, use that as a capital gain uh, loss I mean, capital loss on your tax returns. So there's a lot of things that go with it. Um, I don't mind the 1099 thing. Uh, it's not bad. I'm a business owner myself, so I just mix it in with my business income. But um, anyway, if you guys have any questions about the TickTick -tick, uh, direct plan, leave a comment down below. You could join the Discord as well. I have not been trading with Polarity much. Some people are still trading with it in the Discord. Out of the thousand people that we had joined, not many are profitable. So it's very hard to become profitable with it. It's really just a tool. So nothing against Polarity ATI. It's more so against the way it's marketed, that it's automated, this and that. But it actually is not a profitable system until you make sense of it. And then you become profitable with uh, trading the uh, footprint chart and then balances. If you find a way to become profitable with that, then maybe you could do it. But um no one has a consistency of the founder that we see on YouTube. So uh, keep that in mind. I traded all of it today with uh, my own trading style with scalping. I even had the long here at the bottom. I also had a short here at the top. So if I would have just held a little bit longer, that's not my plan because you never know. But if I would have just held a little bit longer, it would have been a great, um, great profit on the day. But still was pretty good. And hopefully next couple of days, I could gain uh, close to $2,000 on the account. So then I could request that withdrawal. And then I'll make an update uh, on that as well and give you guys a feedback. Because last time I took a withdrawal, I didn't have a great um, experience, I would say. It wasn't bad. It's just I was locked out of my account for the three days that they took to take the money out and put in my account, uh, in my bank account. So that was the only thing that sucked. But besides that, they did pay me and they still pay me on the affiliates. And I appreciate anyone that's using my links to sign up. It's not a lot, but it helps my uh, Red Bull and my energy drink addiction. A couple hundred bucks uh, every few months. And I um, appreciate all your support, even though I haven't been posting any videos. The subscribers are still growing and comments are still flowing into the videos. And I do apologize to anyone that did sign up to Polarity ATI because of my good videos. So I do have to make an update on that and uh, I'll get to it. I promise because I did have a good stretch with it, but majority of the days I did not do well with it. So um, I'll install Ninja Trader again. I have a whole new PC and stuff. So um, I haven't been using Polarity ATI, not even on SIM for quite some time now. Uh, I did try a couple of weeks ago on the, uh, the Apex funded account and I didn't really do well. I kind of broke even and then manually I ended up passing the account. But um anyway guys enough rambling it's already 10 minutes i wanted to make this video under five minutes but it is what it is and i'll see you guys on the next one